Charles. being here. Thank you for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on uh, the new ownership of the Times. So what is your vision for the LA Times? Well, as, as I said in that uh, letter, we have an opportunity now really to to take this brand, and I look upon it as a fantastic media brand, and really uh, expose the opportunity of journalistic integrity, um, news, interests, engage, inform, and I think most importantly, inspire. I think we have an opportunity to inspire our audience um, in this sort of troubled times of the world. And for people that say, print journalism, you see ad rates going like this, the whole industry is all being shaken up, you're crazy to want to get into this industry, what do you say? I love that idea that I'm crazy to get into this <laughs> industry. I think that's exactly what I do, right? I look at challenges and I look at the way people look at it and I look at it differently. I think we've moved, we have to move away from advertising as, our, as the business model. Frankly, what's happened is, you know, Facebook and Google have usurped our content and used this um, to actually drive advertising into that digital space. But what we have strength is stories, uh, investigative stories, important stories, information. Um, and we have a barrier to entry that uh, it's important even for the democracy. So I think we can actually re reinvigorate, revitalize and change the business model to bring value and subscription uh, to, to the paper. And that's something that your fellow billionaire Jeff Bezos has done uh, with the Washington Post. He of course runs Amazon, bought the Washington Post, put a lot of money into it, didn't put a lot of pressure on them to make money at the beginning, um, and said just do good journalism, they're breaking stories all the time, has totally reinvigorated that paper. Is that a model for you? Is this a long-term play where let's, we're gonna give you some time, we're gonna give you some new cash, and sort of, you know, long-term this is gonna work out? Well, that's a model, together with what we see going on with New York Times, where they have integrated podcasts. And I think, exactly. The three, the three of us, meaning between the New York Times, Washington Post, and LA Times, could be pillars that make all boats rise, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is we, I, in terms of my background in cancer and uh, technology, cloud computing, machine vision, machine learning, fiber infrastructure, I've done that for the last decade, believe it or not in order to integrate the cancer cell. That infrastructure can now be utilized within the Times business to create a whole new media platform where we could print, podcast, stream, live stream, create an event center. One of the things that LA Times does, we have 90 events. The book festival brings 150,000 people over three days. So there's an opportunity to really um, create this as a hub for the community mm -hmm. where important information could be could be shared. Mm -hmm. And you're moving the paper right from downtown as the headquarters to El Segundo. Right. I know the, the, the people there are very, very excited to have you. I have so many colleagues that work for the LA Times that are just thrilled after a, a, a tough few years and they're thrilled to have you uh, there and, and it's very exciting. Another thing you do, because you do like 18 different jobs and you do them <laughs> all well, is you're a part owner of the Lakers. And one thing that was very interesting is Kobe Bryant would come and say hello to you before every game. You were his good luck charm and I think Kobe may have been more interested in you <laughs> than he was even in some of his own players. Um, talk to us about that relationship, what Kobe Bryant means to you and, and what uh, being a, an owner of the Lakers has been like. Well, you know, you, if you look at the Lakers, again, it's an area that inspires. Um, it's a brand. Uh, when I met with Jerry and Jeannie and my first and, and, and Magic, it became very apparent. I am passionate about basketball, so that was the, really the first motivation. But I saw these players as really I inspiration models mm -hmm. uh, for the community and children. People like Pau Gasol and people like um, Kobe Bryant and even Meta ha have done amazing things for the community. And I was impressed by the fact that Kobe really, and he still does, um, and, and he's now won, I think, an Oscar, right? right. For, for his work, and so shows that you can move from just basketball to this next level. But so I see myself really as a mentor, frankly, mm -hmm. um, to, they're still young kids. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, who actually ha have to not only look at basketball, but look at what they can mean to society and their next career. So that was my relationship with Kobe. But let's talk about the guy still playing basketball. Is LeBron James and is Paul George coming to L.A., and how much are you willing to pay to make sure that that happens? 
Well, that's Magic's decision and <laughs> Jesus' decision. I'm going to get out of that one. But having said that, I'm really excited about the Lakers. I think, you know, um, we in El Segundo and the Lakers um, um, practice centers in El Segundo. And um, I think the opportunity for us to go to this next level now. I know it's been a long time since we've been in the playoffs, but I'm now real confident. I mean, we've got fantastic young players. Yeah. Kuzma is just fantastic. And uh, uh, that was a, you know, a late draft pick and you begin to see. Uh, so yeah. we'll see now with, uh, I think, I think Mon Sunday is when the real game be begins, yeah. right? Well, um, some of my greatest passions in life are journalism, politics, and the Lakers, and you're making all of those better. So <laughs> thank you on behalf of a grateful Southern California. No, thank you for um, The me. paper is so important. It's so important to subscribe. If you believe in quality journalism, subscribe. Make sure these journalists get paid and give them the resources to do the important investigations that they need to do. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to talk to you more about some of the cancer work you're doing coming up for an upcoming Wellness Wednesday as well, which is super interesting and really important work as well.